Ben, thank you. WFM News 2's Amber Lake heard from Triad School Districts on another angle of this story today. Amber, the conversation twofold. They talked about security measures already in place and new safety features on the horizon. Yeah, this is a detailed document going over the security measures at Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools. It was given to us earlier today. It talks about what the district has in place to keep students, staff and visitors safe. Safety features include surveillance cameras on every single campus, occasional body scanners, safety vestibules. The superintendent and chief safety security officer for the school system told me safety comes first in schools, then comes education. At every school in Forsyth County, visitors need to be buzzed into the main office. All middle and high schools have portable medical detectors. This is the continued effort of making sure what happened yesterday in Nashville doesn't happen here. And we've replaced and improved our camera systems in every single school in this school district. The, the schools that are currently under construction will get those same type camera systems. Door access control was started in middle schools and now it's expanded through our high schools and we're going to vote tonight, the school board is going to vote tonight to expand that to elementary schools so that we are completely 100% have access control in our school district. Um, and so we've actually increased SRO presence in the last two years. The contract we have with the Sheriff's Office and with a Kernersville Police Department actually continues to grow each year because we continue to, to um, assess our needs and make changes. It costs $5 million a year to have those SROs. In order for elementary schools to have them, more money is needed. We also reached out to the Alamance Burlington School System about its continued safety efforts. They told me they have SROs in every campus and have added safety vestibules, additional cameras, as well as other safety improvements. Now, when it comes to safety in Guilford County schools, district leaders say they need more money to continue using the touchless body scanners that are in all high schools. So far, investigators say scanners detected and stopped two guns from getting into schools.